Who here has a favorite superhero? <coughs> and it's not Batman. <laughs> 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 not Alright, man, man, let's, let's hear who. Uh, let's go with George. Really? Um, I like Batman. Okay. Boo! Watch your mouth. I like yes? Batman. Superman. Yeah, Superman. Batman be Superman. Anyway. Superman! Woo! <laughs> okay. Well, Super my Demon favorite Man. is Batman. Right? And the reason why he's my favorite is, first of all, he's a regular guy. He has no superpowers. He's just really, really smart. Right? Kind of like Jesus. Except, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, like, think of it this way. Jesus is God, right? And, um, he was made man, so he was a regular guy. And to a lot of people, he just seemed really smart. And really seemed to know what he was doing. Right? And, um, like, the thing about me, like, seeing Batman as, like, the greatest superhero ever, was not only his smarts and the fact that he was human, but... It was his armor. It was so cool. Right? He had all these gadgets. He had the bat bell. We had little things here and there. You know, he would have um, his cape, which would turn into, you know, his, like, little flying thing. His, um, his armor itself would, like, it was, like, bulletproof. It would defend him from bullets and any harm that would be done to him. Right? And uh, in the Bible, it talks about the armor of God. Now, um... I'll talk. I'll share a little bit. I'll share a little small passage of that one part. It's uh, in Ephesians. All right. So um, there's a passage in the Bible, right, that talks about the armor of God, right? And uh, I'll read you a small portion of it, or sort of a small portion of it. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm then with the belt of, the, of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith which, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. Right? Now, pretty cool, right? So, like, there's a, like, somewhat of a comparison there with sort of how Batman's armor works and how God's armor works. It defends Batman from all evil, from all harm done to him. So, in the Bible, the armor of God defends us from any evil, whether physical or spiritual, done to us. Right? And each part of that, it, it has its own traits. The, the, the waist, the buckle of truth, the, 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 the boots of readiness, you know, the helmet that will defend you from all harm done to you. Right? And it's just like, you know, there's such similarities. And to me, that means a lot because not only can I look to God, but I can also relate to something here in the physical world, here that, that has spoken to me in my personal life, right? And um, when I was younger, like, I was obsessed with Batman, but, like, in a good way, not crazy. And I remember in, uh, when, I, when I had, like, my fifth birthday, I, was, I had the whole costume. And I was in my costume the entire time. And, like... The whole theme was Batman, and all my gifts were like Batman related. That you know, like it was it was great. And um, you know, I think back, and then I think about Halloween that had just passed. It was the, the like first time in a very long time that I had dressed up as my favorite superhero, and it kind of it kind of reminded me just kind of what I admired about it, right? Just kind of like how I am, what I admire about God. And what I admire about what he stands for. And how lately, uh, like these past couple years, how I've started to wear that armor myself. And have become a real strong Christian. And have been defended by all evil done against me because of God. Because of the gospel that has been shared with me through Christ Jesus. Right? Now, 
another thing that that I really admired about Batman was in the movie The Dark Knight at the very end um, his friend Harvey Dent had done some bad things and you know his image was tainted right and so Batman took it upon himself to take away all that blame and put the blame on, his, on himself so that Harvey Dent would not be tainted so that Harvey Dent's example would stand firm to all the people of Gotham right Jesus did the same thing for us he died on that cross he took all our guilt all our shame he, he became tainted and we became clean because of his example and because of what he did for us and his sacrifice right and so what I have to ask for you is what's something in your life that has taken your shame taken responsibility over something bad that you've done or something that you thought was not erasable from your life that you thought would you would never be able to get over it.